Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. Good morning. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the ribbon pattern that I chose for the closing gift. Um, this is the ribbon pattern that I chose for the closing gift. Um, the two big ones came from Walmart after fall. Um, they had all this ribbon on sale for 49 cents. So it was 90% off. Um, so I looked up and found a whole bunch of these. If you haven't saw my video, feel free to go back and watch it. It's one of the, I think I did a short video on these. Um, they were 49 cents, so I racked up. Um, and then these two came from Hobby Lobby. Um, on the 50% off sale, so these were $2 a piece. So this is the type of stuff, the type of colors that I go for when I'm shopping for ribbon. Um, a lot of natural <laughs> Um, all different patterns, especially for clothes and gifts. Um, I always think of that when I'm out shopping for ribbon and looking for stuff because you just never know um, when an order may come and you want to be prepared uh, for when they close and you have the ribbon already on hand. So yeah, so I'm going to make this bow real quick and I'm going to show y'all what the end result of the bow looks like. And then I'm going to wrap it, not on camera, the basket and show you the end results of everything put together. All right? All right.
all right guys so i know i could have used like a bow maker thingy or whatever but um it's just my own preference of using my hand uh, maybe one day i'll use one of those machines but as of right now um i like to flow with my hand but as you can see this is what the bow turned out looking like um i love how the colors connect with each other and also connect with the basket as you can see so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up and um i'll show you guys the finished product of the basket <laughs>y'all so here is the finished product um i end up using one of those 50 by 60 bags i think i'm gonna have to place another one <laughs> just to keep them in stock um that bag was wonderful now it was a little challenging because the only thing i hate about bags this big is in you trying to wrap it you trying to get all the air out of it um and that part sucks um because i, I could, wasn't going to heat seal this because i don't need the pillows like pressed down and I don't, I don't want that type of look um however <laughs> i did um have to like hug it a little bit give it some love <laughs> to get the air out but other than that it worked perfectly um and i'm excited how it turned out so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up those um snack baskets those really large ones and uh, get the heat sealed. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in our next video. Peace.